you've got to be able to read the clues to tell what a fossil is and what part of the animal it came from. So how do we do that? We start with familiarity with basic skeletal anatomy. A femur is always the upper leg bone, vertebrae make up the spine, the radius is always on the thumb side of the manus, that sort of thing. It's important to tell the difference between similar bones. This is where a lot of experience and a lot of studying and reading come into play. For example, each of these bones is a femur, that's the upper leg bone. This is from a large meat-eating dinosaur, a Dyspletosaurus, and this femur is from a small ceratopsian. They both have a ball and socket joint where they articulate to the hip, and they both have this feature, the fourth trochanter, which is where a great big tail muscle attaches. Now the difference is that the theropod femur has a strong curve to it, while a ceratopsian femur is fairly straight. The fourth trochanter on the theropod happens higher up, closer to the hip socket, whereas on the ceratopsian, the fourth trochanter happens more towards the middle of the shaft. Spotting clues like this can tell us a lot about what we're looking at, even if we only have a small piece of the skeleton. What clues can I glean from this fossil? Well, this portion right here is rounded, like it could roll against another bone. It's a joint. This cavity right here I've seen before on theropod finger and toe bones. It's really deep. When I turn it, I see that the bone is broken. And when I look inside, it's hollow. That's a smoking gun for theropod bone. When I add up all of this evidence and I look at the size of it, it tells me that it's a piece of a finger or a toe bone from a big theropod. And out here in the Judith River formation, that means it's probably from a Tyrannosaur, like Gorgosaurus or a Dyspletosaurus. Take a moment to subscribe to the channel and share the video. And if you want to see our new discoveries, come to the Dinosaur Resource Center in Woodland Park, Colorado.